Throughout the years of living in this house, I've had to stain our fence twice now. The first time I used a sprayer and the second time I decided to try rolling on the stain. I wanted to see the difference between the two and I thought it'd be fun to share what I found with you guys, so here it goes. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of staining the fence with a sprayer and a roller. And I want you to know that this is what I found. It could be different for other people and other people might have different preferences, but this is personally what I saw the difference between the two. Um, so we're gonna talk about those. As a side note, I am using the same stain that I used in both methods. And that stain is the Ready Sill in Natural Cedar. This is a goof proof type of stain. So you're not gonna have any streaks or unevenness. It'll be a consistent stain all the way through the board. And that's why I really liked it because then I could goof up and it wouldn't really matter. Let's talk about the pros and the cons with spraying stain on a fence. The biggest con with this method is overspray. I can't say this enough. You want to cover everything you don't want stained and even stuff that you don't think is going to get stained behind the fence for example i clipped an old sheet to the boards behind the fence you can't see it in my video but it's there because look at that overspray you'll want to cover your plants or your grass or your concrete even your house if you're standing next to it just because the overspray is is really big the biggest pro is that it takes less time to apply and you can spray every angle of the board easier so you don't need a paintbrush along with it. Some more cons is that I felt you could have issues with drips with your stain if it was not this goof proof, goof proof stain that I am using. So that might be an issue depending on the stain that you're using with a sprayer. I also felt like the stain was lighter, but this could have been because I was staining a brand new board and not restaining the old. So just as a side note, I didn't feel like it was coating it as thick, as penetrating as much as it did with the roller. But again, that could have been because it was a brand new board. Overall, I did like spraying on the stain, but it was messy. I was so greasy after this. If you do want to see my full video on how I stained the fence with a sprayer, you can, you can find the link below in the description. Now for the roller. The biggest con that I found with rolling is that it takes longer. It didn't take too much longer, but it did take longer. Plus, you need a paintbrush as well with a roller because you can't get into all the little creases that you can with a sprayer. So it will require one more tool. The biggest pro I felt was that you get a better coverage. In other words, you have a heavier coat. And again, like I said earlier, that could have been because the board was brand new, but I did feel like it was a better coat. Another pro is that you will only need to protect the area underneath the fence. You won't have to worry about the overspray issue and covering everything within like five feet. The last pro is that you don't need a fancy machine. All you need is a knit roller. And yes, you'll want to remember the knit because there are different rollers that do not work as well. So it is a knit roller made for staining. So make sure you buy the correct one at the store. If you do go to my video on the process of applying stain with a roller, I do link to my tutorial, which links to the product. Overall, I thought rolling on the stain was a great option if you have time for it. Okay, so the big question, what would I recommend after doing both methods? And to be honest, it really depends on your fence and the amount of time that you have. And when I say fence, I mean the amount of fence that you have to stain. If you're staining like tons and tons of boards, I would go with a sprayer because it's gonna take you less time. If you have a smaller area that you're staining and you do have the time, I would recommend using a roller because I did feel like you had better coverage with it. So overall, I would probably recommend the roller if you do have time, but if not, or if you're staining like an acre worth of, I don't know, fence, I would recommend spraying it. I hope that answers this question for you and just kind of show you the difference between the two. Um, 
If you are wondering kind of how long it took between the two, I did have to break it up because I was staining in the middle of summer, so it was super hot. And you're only allowed to stain before it gets to a certain temperature, so I'd have to stop every day. So I can't really tell you, I just knew that it took less time. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel for future videos.